Okay, so today I found an opportunity to make an easy, a fairly easy $300 with two different signups. So the first one is a 10% return on a $2,000 deposit at Axos Invest. If you like this content, like and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube algorithm to help find us. And the second one is a $100 deposit bonus uh, match with a company, a mobile startup company called Plank, which is also an investment company. And then there's a third option that I don't want to spend too much time on, but Axos has a, they've got the regular personal bank sign up bonus. I think it's 200, but they have a business bank sign up bonus of 200 that requires a $2,500 deposit for uh, two months and no direct deposit requirement so that's that's what I like so I, I'm gonna spend most of the time on this one this uh, in Axos invest only requires it requires two thousand dollars which may seem like a lot and you do have to keep the money tied up for three months 90 days and you have to make two trades so two twenty five dollar trades so my plan is to deposit like two thousand thirty dollars do a twenty five dollar uh, trade sell the stock and then do another twenty five dollar trade and sell the stock because I, I don't I've looked at their interface I probably don't plan on using them long term so I don't want to have any securities that are stuck in there and so I don't know if the buy and sell count so I'm going to do, just to be safe, I'm going to do a buy, sell, a buy, and a sell. And then I should be good. Keep the money there for 90 days. Then uh, after they fund the money, transfer it out. And then you have to keep the account open, I think, for half a year or so. But there's no fees. Anyways, here's a little bit about it you can find. You know, Axos reminds me of of SoFi. There, it's one of these companies that wants to do all kinds of financial services and they don't really seem to do any one thing particularly well. It's uh, the trading platform that I've looked at so far looks very basic but the sign up deal is a nice deal and why, why would I sign up for this deal and have my money tied up for three months? Well for three months you're getting basically 10% on your money over a whole year, that's probably better than what bonds are going to pay. That's that's probably better than what the stocks are stock market's going to do. It's probably going to go sideways or down, at least probably through the first and second quarter of 2023. Ten percent may not sound like much over a year, but this ten percent offers only for a three month period. So if you were to actually get that every single quarter. That would be roughly 40% a year. Actually higher if you compounded that each time you got it. So if you got 40% a year on your return over you know a lifetime, you'd be like you know richer than Warren Buffett. I mean he he hasn't compounded at at that high of a rate. So it's kind of a hard deal to pass up, especially considering that the stock market is probably going to be going sideways or down at least through the first probably the first two quarters of this year and so the way I look at it by the time the stock market starts to go down I'll be done with this and then I can use some of that money to invest so the way I look at it I'm running out of credit card deals and I've already prepaid for a lot of my utilities and I don't really spend that much so I can't uh, and I just got denied for the Chase $200 on 500 I, I tried a few months ago and they denied me because I think they realized that I'm just kind of using them. I, I signed up with the Chase card and they approved it. And then, you know, I spent like $500 and then I didn't use it after that. Anyways, so the, my next option I, I could possibly find, I would prefer probably... A thousand dollar spend and get two hundred dollars on another credit card, but I'm kind of running out of those options, and that does ding your credit a little bit where this one doesn't. All you have to do it says within the first ten days after you have to do the the two trades. So 
I plan on initially, um, or no, this is actually, the money will be deposited 10 days after your first two trades. But I'm, I'm going to knock it all out right out of the way just to be done with it. You can do IRAs with this also. And I'll give you an idea of, okay, how, how good of a deal is this? $2,000. Uh, $200 on $2,000. That's actually a pretty good deal for a brokerage. I'll give you an idea. Here's Swab. Swab is paying... Um, if you deposit $25,000 to $49,000, you get $100. If you deposit $50,000 to $99,000, you get three. So you basically have to do like $50,000 in order to get that. And... It has to be, um, well, it doesn't say about a holding, but I mean, I'm not going to deposit that much money just to get that money, I and mean, that's a lot of work. And then here's here's E Trade. E Trade is giving you fifty dollars. You have to deposit fifty thousand to twenty thousand to get two hundred dollars. You have to deposit fifty thousand to ninety nine thousand dollars. So that that gives you an example of how good of a deal it is. Now here is the small business checking. And there's no monthly fees. It's it's kind of like a lot of you know online banks now. You've got mobile banking, business services. So the, the $200 is kind of a unique thing. So if you've got a new business that you started after 2020, they'll give you $200. Into your bank, into your business bank account. Use promo code NEWBIZ200. If it's not a new business and you created it before 2020, you get a hundred dollar bonus. But you have to put, you have to put twenty five hundred dollars in there and keep it in there for uh, two months. Between this and, so I I think the other one's a little bit easier because you don't have to have a business. This one probably requires that you send the business paperwork showing that your your business uh, you know when you started it if it's the license is still good that's why I'm kinda of focusing on the other one but I mean you do have and then if you tied up this and the other one you're talking about uh, you know 2000 plus 2500 you're talking forty five hundred dollars just to get the the two axos dinks I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one the next, um, the next one is called Plank. It's a mostly a mobile app. So the nice thing about this is you don't. It doesn't take much money, and I, I, you have to do it from the app though. So they'll deposit up to two one hundred dollars when you deposit one hundred. You have to sign up through the app. So here's here's the instruction. Download the Plank app. You have to sign up in the app. Make a deposit of up to $100. Now, if you do less than $100, the bonus goes down. And I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on you know the highest amount. Here's the details. They'll match deposits up to $100 across two payment periods. The first payment period within 15 days of December 8th second within 15 days of January 5th. If you deposit a total of $100 by December 8th, we will you will receive your full $100 payout pay within 15 days. So today is today's the 11th. I'm guessing that's not that one's not going to apply. Well, it says here first payment period within 15 days of December 8th. So I guess that means that you could actually apply after the 8th. So today's uh, December 11th. And I don't see anything about, you know, there being a, you know, this thing being expired. So I signed up anyways. And it says here that you will, actually both of these deals, I believe the Axos thing is ending on the 31st of December. This one ends on um, January 5th of 2023. 
and it requires at least a $25 minimum. You can't withdraw your money after 90 days. So you'll, you'll actually be able to use the money they give you to invest or you can take it out after 90 days um, as cash or transfer to another bank. And I'll show you the interface of these two different services in a little bit. Okay, so the interface you can see here, it's pretty basic. There's not much to talk about. It's, it sort of reminds me of what ING Invest looked like before it was renamed. It's uh, not too much, and they're selling the robo stuff also. I think a lot of this stuff is disabled since I don't have much money in there, but you can kind of see what, what you have to look forward to. Here you can see the Plank interface. It's pretty, a pretty decent interface. This is the sign-up process, and it's all over mobile. So nothing, uh, nothing too difficult. They do ask your social security number. I don't remember seeing that in the Axos, but I'm sure it was probably on there. The sign up process was very easy. I had no problems at all. They have the banking account link where you can log in automatically. I'm not sure what the $2 monthly fee is for. That's that's only certain things, so I didn't look into that. They're selling crypto. It's this is but basically a beginner app, but like a lot of these, uh, there's another bank called Currency. They're aiming at basically teenagers and young people, and selling crypto to them, which it, which I think is irresponsible. But I guess they see a way of making money doing that. There you can see the hundred dollar offer. Now I typed in a ticker symbol here and for whatever reason it didn't come up. I think that's the right symbol. The way this the way this is set up, it's set up almost like Amazon. So you can go to buy something like adding it to cart. Like you, almost like you're shopping for uh, products. So I'm pretty happy with the interface and you can do fractional shares for as little as a dollar which I like and you can do auto auto investing so I may actually use this thing. A dollar is pretty low. Alpaca also has they had lower than a dollar the Alpaca brokerage and they increased it to a dollar recently. I can't remember I think it's Fidelity or Swab one of those is a dollar. E-Trade, I believe, only does it on automatic investing for fractional shares. And I think M1 does it for a lot of stuff. They have fractional shares. It really seems like crypto is a huge part of this uh, mobile app.
I do like this app much better. I signed up in the past for one called Public and it's just so basic. It's like a stripped down version of Robin Hood and it's just, I don't use it for anything. But this one actually looks useful. I'm going to check after I do this video and see that they have a login interface because I do like they have the option to log into the website and especially if I'm doing large financial decisions I don't want to be a, a slide click away or a water drop on the screen away from make a, making a major financial decision on the phone whereas on the computer it's a little bit safer I think. I know the sign in there's no you know desktop sign up but maybe there's a login interface after you sign up okay I just checked and I couldn't find a web interface so all of your investing will have to be done over the mobile app if you like this content like and subscribe it really helps the YouTube algorithm to help find us